Okay, now, John, can you tell me how you first knew you wanted to be an artist? What set you off? At the end of the day, it's because I've been doing it for so long. I started as a young kid, uh, it was like an after-school art class, uh, conveniently located across the street from my school. At the time, I guess it was a holding ground for my brother and I, while my mother and father finished work. Um, until they would pick us up, but we would have such a good time um, with the, the art teachers and the creativity. We, we did all sorts of fun projects, but I was always at home and having fun in the sort of art environment. And since that very early age, I felt very comfortable in the situation, and I continued to do it today, to seek out the arts classes, the art schools. Um, so that's that's where I began, and it seems to have um, grown into uh, to my adult life. So, when did you decide about the kind of art you wanted to make? When did you become interested in techniques? I would have to say, because when I was doing art classes in my, first, uh, my uh, youth, in the, in the school art classes, for instance, um, we did a lot of drawing, a lot of sketchbook work, and I immediately took towards producing images that were detailed. Um, I, there was one image that stands out to me when I was younger. It was um, a study of a stuffed owl, and it came from the Chicago, uh, the Natural History Museum in Chicago. And I was fascinated by the detail, and I, I saw the, the picture, and I said, I want to reproduce that on paper, and that was the first detailed image I ever produced and from then on I knew I liked it and I wanted to do it so I've been doing detailed drawings to start with and then further in my adult life it's now the detailed painting. Why did you come to England to go to art school? Well actually I didn't come to England just for the art um, and that was sort of I was in between uh, careers at the time I came here. I did study uh, graphic design at university in the United States. Um, back then the design courses were located in the School of Fine and Applied Arts, and they were intense four-year courses. We had years of foundation artwork, um, and I did get my degree in graphic design, um, but I never actually got a job in graphic design. I decided it wasn't for me. Uh, what I should have been doing, looking back on retrospectus, doing the painting course or the other sort of fields that they had on offer there. Um, it was only until um, maybe 10 years ago that I decided to pick up my paint set and have another go at what I felt I wanted to do. So that's when I started to take classes here in London. Um, I went to the Putney School of Art to begin with. I studied at Heather Lee's for a few terms. And then it just, things came together and now I'm doing it on my own. Well, you say you came to England for other reasons. What was it? Love? <laughs> exactly, in one word, for love, yes. It had to happen. I do feel this is my home now. And with my artwork, it's almost like it feels like this is where I need to be at the present time. How do you want people to react to your art? I think I want them to feel like they can, especially with the portraits and figurative work, somehow get an insight into the person in the painting, but not just who the person is, but a bit of the emotion of the mind. That's one thing I always focus on, is how the personality is going to come through to the viewer, um, if they can connect to the person in the painting, and ultimately if, if their character or their characteristics somehow speak to them, or even the history of their life, they can connect to that. So I hope to communicate. I like the interaction that goes on between a painting and a viewer. I think that's very important to me. You paint from life, do you? No, I don't. I paint from photographs. Um, it's the way that the paintings are produced. Um, it's best to have a photograph of the person uh, because it takes so long it's almost impossible to have someone sit for you for months on end. Um, so it's almost, for, uh, part, of, part of it is convenience for the sitter, um, that they can take an hour, two hours, sometimes half a day, um, and we get a good image, and then take it from there. 
Are you rather secret about what you do in the studio? Not at all, really. I think the viewers, or some people who don't know how it's done, they, they don't understand how you can produce something that looks that real, but it's basically um, concentration and a lot of time.